the Tompola and other people, right? And the whole, yeah, that, 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 and the whole, the whole village was flattened. Yes. We have in the east where a state governor, Imo State, uh, who's on demand because he wants to contest for election, or destroy villages mm -hmm. and prevent them, prevent them from coming to elect to come to pass an election. And the guy won that election, which was a farce. We have unknown soldiers in the southeast killing people. Mm -hmm. We have a, a house of a half of assembly member in Kano State murdering people because they refuse to vote for him. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And nothing happened. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you think this democracy, right? Is it are we is it really a democracy? It doesn't make sense anymore. You understand? Sense. And uh, mm. I think um, the people are to blame. Because um, uh, to my own understanding, the most dangerous threat to our democracy are the banks. Number one, the banks. Oh, bless you. Number two, mm. the arrogancy of the supposedly elected politicians. And number three, the dogmatic behavior of the elector and electorates, the people themselves, they are so dogmatic. You will think that what happened in Kenya would transfer to Nigeria or Ghana or Cameroon. They are already complaining that they are overdoing it. Yeah, no, nobody is overdoing it. Look, Ruto will have to go. That's what how democracy works. Nobody, you know that upon all this, even the uh, the media houses in Nigeria are not even telling people that you can record a government, you can record Tinubu. It's in the constitution, it's in the electoral act and the constitution. You can record a government, you can record all the elected the people elected. Apart from you, they can record them tomorrow. It happened in Kogu State that when they were trying to record and uh, uh, they know what happened? The imposter by him, they couldn't recall him. They have the power to recall, but unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't know if it's poverty or uh, 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 sensitization. The people don't seem to know what is happening. Our Jews abusing, abusing themselves on the internet, a very dark man, abusing their, uh, uh, what they call it, what they uh, and, her, and her husband. Mm -hmm. And that's what they are more concerned about. When I, when, when I go on Facebook, I go on the internet, I go on Instagram, it's about a very dark man. They're not talking about themselves. So I use, are to blame. They're, 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 the people themselves, people that elect the position, they are to blame for all this nonsense. And the, another, 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 another threat to our, 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 our democracy, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, yep. is the collective responsibility of the people now to ask their people now, to to demand accountability from their politicians. Mm. Yes, but no, no, nobody does that. Somebody will just come on board to the the, 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 uh, the media houses, right? When you will see that anytime Tinubu has problem, a uh, political sort of problem. The next thing, right? Tennis division and arise, right? I don't know if they call them. I don't know if they force them to call them to come and defend them. You see, one of the minister APC members coming to defend the action. Spewing lies, and they will, really be, they will really be countered or fact checked. And sometimes they will consume you. Those lies will consume you. Look at Obla. When Obla was accused, right? I stand for it. Actually, uh, believe me, I stand for it. Yeah, I pay for it, man. When they were accusing of blast, they look at this idiot. Uh, they were bringing up they... charges. So <laughs> very dolphin. Yeah, they also said he had, he had, he had a first certificate. Yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, I believe. I, he went to school. I believe oh, that. Yeah. My ego, I believe them. It's now when the guy is coming out to tell us the truth. Now I, I started blaming myself. I said, "Why did I believe this? Why did I consume this nonsense?" Hmm. And one of the the, 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 the one of the one of the uh, pressmen that is more dangerous to our democracy is Dele Otitoju of TBC. That must spread a lot of nonsense. Mm. Those are the people that supported Bwari to come to power. Even when Bwari was failing us, at the time, maybe Dele Otitoju was just saying that Bwari is the best person for Nigeria. I don't know if they gave him, but, but funny enough, right? It's not the really appointment. It's just the, the same pressman is. So I don't know where it's coming from. The they, are, they always have people like that. Look at some of the people with faces you have seen in CNN, for example, right? So you will see that yeah. some of them have been there for 30 years, 40 years. I'm telling you, man. But they have, been, they have made them so much a legend and powerful that sometimes, right, they, are, they, yeah. can, be, they can be as influential as some politicians in America. And you'll be wondering, he's just a journalist. 
he's just a talk show host. He has you. been there, planted in that system, right? To groom people like themselves into the media, yeah. me, mainstream media. And yeah. you've seen some young people talking like him. And you'll be like, ah, how come this young person is sounding like daily? I mean, <laughs> tutorial, whatever, right? You are a young person. You shouldn't be sounding like that man. I mean, he is grooming them. And many people are grooming that way. <laughs> so it's so sad. Yeah, right? Those are the ones, right? That will be deceiving our own children. Okay? I'm telling you. Telling our own children what Otito, Otito Joe, whatever, told us, right? And those before us. See, is it? I know, I know. We, 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 that are above 60, right? Mm -hmm. We are so confused. We don't know where to go, right? It's so confusing. It's so frustrating. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, finally, right? I know there, there are people waiting went, went to call, right? Mm -hmm. Finally, the process of our election, right, is 100% faulty. To me, right, to me, we have three majority groups in Nigeria, right? But the problem, what we are not talking, we are not discussing about, right? Those are not, they are not the only Nigerians. We have 750 uh, um, languages and 350 uh, ethnic groups. We are the, if the, the minorities are even made, made more than the majorities. Our electoral process, right? If the president is from the north, is a is an Ausa man. I don't want to say Ausa Fulani. Just say the president is an Ausa man. The vice president is a Yoruba man. The person that officiate, that organize, and uh, um, 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 man the election should be from one of the minority groups. So that, so that, so that nobody can influence him. Look at uh, 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 Yakubu now. He's still there up to now. Yeah. He guys the full army, right? They've if tomorrow, right? They renewed his, uh, they've extended his uh, term. He's spending another five-year term. Just tell me, just tell me like the only, they, just tell me like the full army people are ganging up now, right? To up to to Abacho Chinubu and they threaten him yeah. like, like what they did to Buhari when now uh, 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 Abiola won the election. And Buhari consent said if he had, if he had made L, 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 um, Abiola the president of that right, they would have wiped up the whole of his family. That was yes. that was why that was that was why um, by the way, Bagida was the election. Did that what people don't understand? He has retired. They told him, they threatened him mm -hmm. because there are some people. Look, some people right owns Nigeria. There are some groups in the north that owns Nigeria. In cohort with some groups, minority in the south, that eat the crumbs from their table. Hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So that, that was what happened. You know, so that's, pro that's where we have the problem. If you are of Jida election and, uh, and Abu Bakar, Abu Bakar con contest tomorrow, you will defeat Buhari, you will defeat Tinubu, I bet you any money. With my friend, they will write that result. Like that. And nothing will happen. Thank you so, so much. So, in the real sense, right? That one. Yeah, all right. Thank, thank you very so much. much for that. For yeah, that. Okay, yeah. as always. Anyway, so thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Now, thank uh, see those who are calling through uh, WhatsApp. See, I understand your dilemma. Okay, when I have a callers who call directly, uh, through the I mean, through the direct line, like there are no WhatsApp, so all the WhatsApp calls are going to just be pushed behind. I kind of have a way of mixing them up. Okay, so I'm taking call from the WhatsApp now. Here, yeah. hello. <laughs> My office general, good evening. Sir. It's Ferdinand from Newcastle. Ferdinand, see yourself now. You've become a regular veteran now, right? And I love you. <laughs> How are you this evening? Yeah, thank you very much. Your, your, your program is always um, captivating. And um, I thought I can't help um, taking it like a daily medicine. <laughs> Bless you, Baba. Um, Here we go. I, I was... Um, yeah, I was actually um b before I state my point, I'll just be brief. Um, I was I was actually on YouTube um few minutes ago while I was listening to your program, and um somebody posted um that Guinness is leaving Nigeria after seventy five years or thereabouts. So I was I went straight to the comment section. I was reading comments. You know, my view, you can't believe that almost eighty percent of the Nigerian youth were actually saying. Oh, let them go. Uh, Guinness is an alcoholic con um, company. Um, what of what use is the beer for us? You know, most of them were, you know, from the north, even from the south. You know, they were just looking at it from the religious perspective. You know, so I dropped a comment and I'm like, look, this is not about Guinness being an alcoholic or alcoholic company or whatever you think. This is about huge investment living in Nigeria, and Guinness is just one of a few. 
And don't forget, when these companies leave, the the unemployment rate increases, and some of these beers it means that you have to be importing them at a higher cost. Mm -hmm. People don't really understand um, what is happening. A lot of Nigerians, so they tend to see it that it's a good thing that Guinness is actually leaving Nigeria. Can you imagine that? You know something uh, about uh, Nigerian psychology. I want to to uh, please pay attention to. Okay. Uh, most of the yeah. time, it is not that the Nigerians don't understand the implication of all these things. Economically, they do. But you see, there's something about Nigerians generally, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, when I say yeah. generally, I simply, mean, I simply mean that uh, talking about our biases, all right? Only a few yeah. of us see beyond tribe, ethnic, religion, whatever exactly. that's connection exactly. we have with other people, right? before we make yeah. our proper decisions about things, okay? So where yeah. our relationship doesn't cloud our judgment when we want to say things as they are, right? So generally in yeah. Nigeria, a lot of people do believe, right, to some extent that if someone is failing in his duty and it's going to cost us or it's going to cost a lot of people, pains but that person is uh, somebody they like it may not even be from their tribe yeah. or what have you but i'm just using that one that's, yeah. that's the strongest part where people actually attach tribe and all that but there are people who are not from that same tribe but they just have this bias towards this person now exactly, because exactly. Bias, yeah because of their biases so they will underplay they will agree that that thing is bad right they know right but they yeah. will just underplay the the two exactly bias. Yeah. Yeah. Is exactly that's make, make that's exactly what happened. And so, uh, exactly, you know, exactly. Am I even? They are moving. But do you not know? Don't you know yeah. that they are like uh, a sin to be drinking? It's even bad for you. Yeah. They know about. Yeah. Their exactly. They are, they are not stupid. But it suits exactly. their agenda because if they agree with you, they, they will. will have to condemn yeah. the people they respect. The people they of support. course, of course, and they don't want. And to. that. that, that mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is why that, that 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 brings me to my next point. Um, um, this is not this is actually analysis I've, I've been making on my own because um, I, I I I I read about politics and I try to analyze politics sometimes. You see, what is really playing out now in Nigeria is um, Nigeria will eventually Nigeria has eventually crashed already. Um, and it will divide further in future. You know, and uh, guess who? is actually doing the job better. It is the APC, the establishment. You see, the greed to be in power of these politicians and selfishness uh, and their selfishness is eventually um, dividing Nigeria and damaging it more and more. Why do I say this? Uh, you could recall that eight years ago, eight years of Buhari was very, very bad for Nigerians. And during that time, a lot of things happened. Dollar increased, you know, inflation was high. There was instance protest. Northern youths never joined in that protest, and they never continued for one day. Um, in fact, during the instance protest, right? Uh, yeah. Continent, right? To them, yeah. To them, yes, we are suffering. Yes, they are. Yeah. Problems. But yeah. Does that, that mean that we have to lose the presidency? So we are not going to have president no. anymore. No, uh, that is that is it. because we are dying. Yeah, we would rather have it is that. Yeah, exactly. That is what they were saying. And my and and um, this is what actually this is what actually um brings my point. Now, uh, the not is uh, the few brokers you mentioned a few days ago. You mentioned the not ganging up to take off that is it's going to be a one time president. Now, this is uh, this has actually. Uh, I've actually tried to reason it from another perspective. Now, the northerners are coming to take off tonight. Yes. Uh, that he is his administration is very bad. Things are difficult. Blah, blah, blah. As if Buhari's own was uh, was um, was very good. Now I'm not uh, I'm not from the north, and I'm not Yoruba either. I'm an Igbo guy, and uh, I'm going to be very objective here. Um, a, a typical Yoruba man would be like, "What of Buhari was his own better? Now it is uh, Tini Um, you guys want to, you guys want to take him off." And if you if you kind of like try to balance it from uh, a, an objective perspective, uh, the lot and I'm, I, in as much as I'm not in support of uh, uh, Tinubu, uh, Tinubu's government and administration, the Northerners are trying to like they have this delusion that they can alone can decide who will be the president of Nigeria and who will not. 
I'm, I'm not in support of I'm not in support of Tinibu, but I think that what Tinibu is going to do now is Tinibu loves that presidency so much that he wants to. It's, it's like a lifetime ambition for him. And what I'm thinking is that with this regional uh, regional government he's trying to do, he's going to kind of like clip the wings of the Northerners. Tinibu feels too big to go and beg the Northerners the second time for them to endorse him. You get, you get it. So what, it what I feel is that he's, uh, this he's going yeah he's going he's going to break down their powers. From my own yeah. experience, okay, he's going to beg them. Not because they we are going to stop him from, you know what I mean? He needs the accreditation. Yeah. Okay, he needs it. They will make Nigeria ungovernable for Tifnumbu. He's already starting. You are going to see bombs well, my, who, from Babuja. Well, Do you understand? My, my, what if, okay, my, what if, what if this regional government comes into play? At, uh, Tifnumbu, you is know, all those, all those, you see, regional all those, government coming from Tifnumbu. Number one is a red flag. It's not the regional government mm -hmm. you have in mind. When Tifnumbu finally, if Tifnumbu okay. pushes regional government, right? I promise you, Ferdinand, yeah. it is not that one you have in mind. It's not that one that, you know, <laughs> everybody will be independent. No, 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 it will be. Okay? He's just going to yeah. take the advantage if he sees an advantage in it. I know a lot of people are already saying it. Okay? Like, oh, it will bring restructuring. Yeah. No, 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 no. It will beg them, Ferdinand. It yeah. will make them. They will make Nigeria ungovernable soon. Okay, they're going to bomb places. They're going to do horrible things that a lot of people have forgotten about in the last eight years. Despite the fact that uh, the terrorists are using guns, they will use bomb now. Now all of this yeah, they, they, will give Nigeria. Yeah. It will make Nigeria even worse. Okay. Now they will mm. try to want to repeat the same trick they used on Jonathan. It, just to force Jonathan, him out. yeah. Okay, just to force his Yeah. They can't take him out. Yeah. But unfortunately, yeah. the trick to Obama's uh, White House in 2014 was actually it work this time around. to them by Tifnumbu. It wasn't this northerners. Yeah. So it's complicated. Yeah, it won't. Now, the only yeah. time you will see Tifnumbu go for the broke is if he if he sees that they've made up their minds. Okay. Like okay, it's now, not them trying to get his attention, they've made up their minds. And film go constant. But, but, Okay, now my okay now I, I, um in 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 addition to your last point you just made now don't you think that if it, if they've made up their mind and Tinibu cannot do anything about it, guess who the Yorubas are going to to be running back to for um, a union government? You know, for, uh, the Yorubas are going to be looking for allies, and guess the next people they are going to run to. It is the same people that they are killing and destroying their properties in Lagos. No, they will be calling you. Do you know that. See, I told yeah, you they, 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 they will come back to Debo soon because because the North is really going to the North is really going to mess Tinibu up, and you know the North once they've made up their mind, it's really difficult for them to go back. You get it? If they start say calling Tinibu one time president, my good trust me, they will make a very serious move on it, and the Yorubas will start calling back to the same Ebos they were this demolishing their houses and destroying their businesses in Lagos. Before, before you go, right? Could you just please, okay. right? Replace that yeah. with Yorubas when you are talking about it. <laughs> Could you please replace that with the Ronu? Okay, okay. Please. Okay. Okay. So so that 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 say because he's fighting with <laughs> this or that, then the Yorubas going to yeah. do it automatically. No, no, no. It's not going to be like that. But yes. Yeah, yeah. The so Ronukus, the Ronukus are, yeah. Who are, who are hating, what? who are creating this uh, tribal ethnic tension, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. They would have to come yeah. back to the Eagles and begin the romance again. I will be here. We'll of be course. Here. All of us of, will be here. Of course, of course. They, will, they have to go back to the Igbos and you know, and the South as for, for alliance again. And these were the same people that they actually tried to push out yeah, of Lagos and be, be, because of yeah, because of Tinibu. So yeah. I think he has also put himself, he has also put himself in a very hot spot because of his ambition and grief for president. That's just what. That's just the analysis I've been trying to make, my well. Thank you very much. I keep up the good work. God bless you, Ferdinand. You did well so well that uh, you kind of broadened this conversation. And I love it when people do that. Okay? You kind of make it more like, oh, oh ah, eh? My Lord Gorel, don't they deceive yourself, oh? Even Tifnubu will not deceive himself. If uh, this year uh, is full of near associates, come for his head. Eh? A lot of us, we are just going to pay for rentals we're going to rent chairs we'll take seats bring out our cameras and phones okay and document the event me i will document every all of that i've said it many times this is not this is not the first time 
But there are two things I want you to please whenever we are having this kind of conversation, okay? Uh, that the North is ganging up against Tifnumbu. So therefore, the Tifnumbu, uh, as a Yoruba man, the Yorubas are now going to... Yorubas are not fighting Igbos. Yorubas don't hate Igbos. Tifnumbu and his Ronukus, who also hate Yorubas, this is something that all of us must please be conscious of. I know it may be so difficult for some of you to actually like uh, separate them. But it is so unfortunate that a lot of you will say Yoruba this, Yoruba that because of Tifnumbu. Then you will kind of pretend that the same Tifnumbu people are not calling to kill us because we will never, no real Yoruba will publicly associate with Tifnumbu. Look around the people around him. Look at those kind of people that are supporting him. Look at those who are, they said he made, he made them politically. And then look at the Yoruba land, how the real Yorubas react to these people. So it's so sad that a lot of you always associate Tifnumbu with Yoruba, but you also forgot that these people attacked their fellow Yorubas because of Tifnumbu. They said if they are fellow Yorubas, they are not full Yorubas. They are still pushing it. Because of Tifnumbu, his own Ronukus are calling Yoruba Somali because of Tifnumbu. But yet, all of them who are non-Yorubas, any small thing. You see this Yoruba, this tribe, any small thing. Because of Tifnumbu. So I will continue.